Good morning, Cougars. I'm Chris Sosodoro, and you're watching Cougar Paws on the CBN. Today is Wednesday, February 8th, and I'm Erica Garcia. Wait. Taking a look at today's news, we are happy to report that the boys' varsity basketball team defeated YMLA on Tuesday night by the score of 60-49. to Sheldon Long led the team in scoring with 10 points off the bench, all in the fourth quarter. Tommy Bonner added eight points off the bench in his first varsity game. The team will take on Southwest this Friday at 6.30 at Wilkerson Greyness for their senior night game. Please come out and support the team and help recognize our five seniors. National Honor Society members, please come to room 306 at lunch this week to make Valentine cards. If you missed this month's meeting, please stop by 306 and see Ms. Frost for information. Are you a dog lover? Does the gentle purr of a cat warm your heart? In the United States, more than 30 million dogs and cats are born each year. Only 1 out of 10 of those animals will find a permanent home. The Key Club is asking for your help. They are participating in the Don't Forget to Feed Me Valentine's Day Food Drive for pets in the Fort Worth area. Help out by bringing a bag of dry food or cat food to room 240 or room 242 by February 14th. They are also in need of one gallon Ziploc bags. The Key Club members will separate the dog food and cat food into servings to donate to the local pet food bank. Help the Key Club reach its goal of 1,500 servings. The Student Council will be in the cafeteria during lunch this week, giving you the opportunity to write your special someone a Cupid heart. Come by our table and express your feelings to your secret crush. Hearts will be delivered on Tuesday, February 14th. This service is free to you as a gift from our student council. For a few bucks, you can send a gift to your special someone and help support the band. Visit the cafeteria to purchase glow stick bracelets for $1 or red roses for $3 to send to your best friend, favorite teacher, or special someone this Valentine's Day. All items will be delivered during 7th or 8th period on Valentine's Day, so make sure you have that info. Do you know how to tell the difference between a seasonal allergy and an infection? Dr. Alan Sedin from UC Health explains it here. Even if it began as an allergic problem, allergies will cause congestion, block the sinuses, which can lead to a bacterial infection. So oftentimes it needs to be treated uh, before, it'll, before it'll resolve. Those symptoms can vary, but they tend to start up here and sort of move into the chest area. And he says the most important thing you may want to pay attention to right now is how long they last. Typically a cold will last for at the most 10 days. So at five days, if you have a cold, it should start getting better. You should start turning the corner and really by 10 days it should be gone. If you're symptomatic more than 10 days, then that's a good indication that it's gone into something more severe. Severe infections that do become bacterial may need antibiotics for treatment. According to Dr. Alan Seiden and his team of ear, nose, and throat specialists. But you also need various decongestant treatments to try to get the, the respiratory tract open so the sinuses can drain and the infection can resolve. Ten days. Did you catch that? If you've been hacking and coughing up crud longer than that, don't just say I'm getting over a cold. I hear that a lot, yeah. and you got to remember that your coworkers around you, your confidence needs it on them. If you are sick, please stay home. No one wants your stuff. If you are a college volunteer or will be doing dual credit students next school year, the Tarrant County Health Department will be at Western Hills High School on Friday, the 17th, to give manager Chicago vaccines. The cost will be $14 payable in cash or check made out in TCHD. It will be free with your card if you are on Medicaid or CHIPS. Please see Ms. Estes, the school nurse, to get a permission slip for the shop. This day in history, 1587, wasn't such a good day for Mary Queen of Scots, who after 19 years of imprisonment was beheaded at Fotheringay Castle in England for her part in a plot to murder Queen Elizabeth I. In 1542, while just six days old, Mary had ascended to the Scottish throne upon the death of her father, King James V. Her mother sent her to be raised in the French court, and in 1559, Mary had returned to Scotland to assume her designated role as the country's monarch.
On a literary note, in 1955, John Grissom, the best-selling author known for his legal thrillers, was born in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Grissom's books have sold over 250 million copies worldwide, and over half a dozen of his novels have been turned into films. Well, Cougars, that is all we have for you today for Cougar Paws. I'm Crystal Isidoro. And for the CBN, I'm Erica Garcia wishing you a good day and some good news.